YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. I hate Microsoft Edge and it is baked into Windows. Um, it is really annoying to get rid of and I've had to update my script on GitHub to actually get rid of it. Um, I want to show you guys how annoying Edge is. Um, I don't like the direction that Microsoft is going. I don't usually do individual videos on scripts, but we're doing it here. So I have a virtual machine here. I've got Windows 10, the complete latest, and Windows 11, the complete latest. Let's have a look at Windows 11. Go to the start menu. As you can see here, if we go to resume. Microsoft has baked in Microsoft Edge. For the search, they've made it incredibly hard to get rid of. You know what's annoying? On Windows 11 and 10 server, they'll let you natively uninstall Edge. No problem. You got to uninstall a program here. Microsoft Edge. You go uninstall. Or you could do it through the normal apps or the UWP apps. Find Microsoft Edge. Click uninstall. They don't like to let you do it on Home and Pro and I believe Enterprise as well because a lot of apps are becoming dependent on Microsoft Edge and I'll show you that a little bit later. I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of it. I've had to update my Microsoft Edge script today. I have a pure hate for Microsoft Edge and then forcing it upon us and also making so many apps dependent on it. I think it's quite disgusting. Microsoft 10. Sorry, Windows 10. Oh, click on my virtual machine here. Go down. Still not baked into the start menu. They're not really sort of doing anything with Windows 10 anymore. It's end of life. You can extend security updates for free with Mass Gravel. You heard that? Didn't hear that from me. But it is still incredibly annoying. We'll always update in the background with services and you can't natively uninstall it. So why are they forcing this upon us? They want us to use Edge because of data collection. And data collection is money. Selling data to brokers is money. And it is quite annoying. So I've updated my script, guys, on GitHub. You can uninstall it and reinstall it safely. So I'll show you guys how. I also hate the fact that you have to click through all these things just to use Edge every time you install Windows. It is so annoying. Like, just let me use the browser. <laughs> like Chrome and other uh, Chromium-based browsers like Brave, like don't have this issue. Um, so anyway, as you can see here, um, I have updated my GitHub and if I refresh this, it should come up. There we go. Seven minutes ago, <laughs> updated Microsoft Edge. So to make your life easier, just download the whole pack. All right, so we'll go code and download. If you're not sure where to find it, just search Freethe GitHub on a web browser. Let's search that. Freethe GitHub. I want you to click Windows Ultimate Windows Optimization Guide. Just here, click code, click download. Easy. Okay. Once that's downloaded, okay. Open the downloads folder. Right click, go extract all. Okay, apparently it didn't finish downloading. Let's try that again. It's taking a little while to download the file. I guess it's scanning it for viruses and stuff like that. Okay, we've finally downloaded it. Right click, go extract all, extract. Okay. Drag this folder to the desktop. All right, I'm just going to clean up the downloads folder now. Okay, here it is here. Open the folder. We're going to need to allow scripts. I've got a little script to allow scripts, which makes life a little bit easier. So just double click allow scripts. Run it. Okay, run it. Administrator, yes. Press 1 and press enter. It's going to unblock the files and also allow you to run PowerShell scripts. Okay, it is in Windows and it is in Edge. Okay, let's have a look at this here this disgusting thing going on in the task manager we got this resume rubbish baked into the star menu anyway i've updated the script so right click it go run as a power powershell run with powershell okay then you can press one and then press enter as you can see it's going to completely nuke microsoft edge and edge web view i had to update this one because it wouldn't actually nuke it the resume um through the the start and it was quite frustrating so that is gone completely so now if we go to apps installed apps if i search edge it is not there if i search bing it is not there if i go to the legacy control panel edge is not there it is completely gone same process on windows 10 so you guys 
Windows folder, Edge running with PowerShell. And you know, it's really funny. Uh, when I originally made this script, I just had to update it for the resume thing. But the uninstall method is really weird. It's literally like create a fake file in a location to allow the uninstall command line to work for Edge, which works natively fine on, on Windows 11 and 10 server. It, it, if you ever read the code, you'll laugh. It's kind of funny. Anyway, that should be completely gone now. Edge should be completely gone. Let's go to apps. Close Edge. Gone. Bing. Gone. See ya. Absolute rubbish. It's completely gone here. Now, if you screwed up and that was your only web browser, don't panic. You can use my Windows Ultimate. Um, ultimate op Windows Optimization Guide, you can go to Installers, you can go to Installers, run Installers with PowerShell, press yes for the command prompt, and there's a backup here, you can just press 9 for Google Chrome, so if you accidentally messed up, or you could run the Edge default, uh, which will reinstall Edge uh, natively and safely. So let's reinstall Edge on 11. What I found quite interesting is when you reinstall it. So default will reinstall Edge and Edge WebView 32. Um, and also bring back Bing back for the UWP app. All right, so we'll go Edge default. This will take a little while. I find that it actually doesn't bake into the search again until you restart the PC, which is interesting. So it's going to go ahead and install Edge. Then it will end task of Edge. Then install Edge WebView 32. Um, so these scripts, uh, I've made them sort of as native as possible where it doesn't sort of strip out system files or anything like that and everything can be reverted back to a vanilla state and that's how I've done all these scripts as a lot of you guys will probably already know that. Edge has background services as well that constantly update Edge so when you use this script it, it uses the proper command line to uninstall it so it actually removes the services as well which is cool so you see install Edge, I was going to end task soon and install Edge WebView. Okay it end tasks of Edge and now it's installing WebView 2 which so many apps are dependent on, and I'm going to show you guys that really soon. Um, a lot of apps are getting quite smart now, and they will reinstall this for you by default. Um, I will show you that shortly with some store apps and Roblox. Well, I won't show you Roblox, but I'll just show you store apps because it's easier. But um, there are some apps that aren't smart enough. Um, now, the PlayStation Remote Play app is not smart enough to reinstall Edge, WebView, or Edge. So... There are some apps that might not run and if they don't run you might need to reinstall edge because they're just dependent on the code for edge web view okay, restart or probably don't have to restart so now it's going to open up edge um and i've got it to open up uBlock origin which i do recommend running um if uh, you are going to use edge so, which is kind of nice all right so um it should be installed now so edge is installed and let's go to the UWP apps. And Edge should be installed. Edge is installed and Bing should be here as well. Bing is back. Okay, cool. So I'm going to uninstall it and then I'm going to show you guys what happens with some apps that reinstall it, which is quite annoying. Um, well, actually before that, let's have a look at the resume start search thing. Um, let's see if it's come back. It hasn't come back yet. Let's see what happens when we restart, see if it comes back. I just love how Edge loves to run in the background. And a lot of the time, right, guys, if you do the Edge settings to get it to not run in the background at all, so it is in system and performance background mode, if you turn um, continue running background extensions and apps when Edge is closed, it'll still run in the background. Edge WebView still runs in the background. Um, Edge still has services that will still run in the background and constantly update itself. Right, if it's under Microsoft Edge, these three here, <laughs> it's just disgusting. Like it is just disgusting. It's just completely waste, waste of space. I'm going to uninstall Edge and then I'm going to show you guys what happens when you install an app that has a dependency on it. But before I do that, I did say I was going to restart and check the resume thing. So let's do that now. Go ahead and restart. All right, Windows 11 is restarting. This is going to be interesting see if it's going to bake itself back into the resume or start menu whatever it's called let's see go back to the task manager and there it is it is back in resume absolutely horrible 
I don't know what they're doing. I'm guessing that they're just trying to use Edge as a backend to gather data collection for whatever you're using this search bar for. I, uh, who knows? I, I don't know. That's beyond my pay grade. But what I do know is that I really don't like Edge. So I'm going to uninstall it and I'm going to restart and then show you what happens when you install an app that has a dependency on it. Well, I don't think I ever need to restart. So I've uninstalled it completely. I'll go to the store. I do know there's an app in here like there's lots of apps that I've seen that will reinstall it but some apps won't and they don't know and wh whoever coded the app isn't smart enough to go oh no edge isn't installed or edge web view isn't installed and then the app just won't open that happens too so I mean Netflix is a good one I'll show you guys that one hopefully I don't have to sign in to install this thing doesn't look like I do so this app only works if Microsoft Edge is installed installing Microsoft Edge doesn't <laughs> it's already installing it doesn't change your default browser your experience might be affected <laughs> so like there are a lot of apps that are just dependent on this now and i mean the developers are smart enough here to go hey we've got to reinstall it so i just thought i'd show you guys that i really don't like edge i don't know what they're doing i feel like we're going back in time with windows uh when back in the day i'm quite old back in the day when people preferred uh to use netscape and then they kept baking in um what was it uh Windows Explorer in Microsoft, and I'm pretty sure there was a lawsuit over that, but um, this is just horrendous. Anyway, I've shown you guys how to remove it. I really hate Edge. Um, yeah, and happy tweaking, guys. I'm going to start updating the GitHub a little bit more, and working on some of the game configs a little bit more too. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Screw Microsoft Edge. If you like your Windows game, BIOS, hardware, or stream setup fresh, tuned, and optimized, support me and book my PC service. All links can be found in the description below. Just check link tree.